Here is your Strictly LTG Pro tip. On your box of rings, you will see a bunch of numbers. These equate to the cylinder bore and overall thickness of your ring set in millimeters. We checked our rings via digital caliper and everything was in good order. As you can see, our intermittent ring is bang on the money at 1.2 milli. Make sure and use plenty of assembly oil when putting together the pistons and rods. Dry start is a serious factor when building an engine. Now it's time to check the end gap. You can use the top of your piston to square everything up. Using a feeler gauge, we are looking for around 20 thou, which is plenty of gap for our 2.0. Take your feelers and gently insert into the ring gap. Start off small and work your way up until you reach a leap that does not fit. Our end gap for this cylinder was 23 thousandths. We checked the rest of the rings with a similar story on the other three bores. Putting together the rods and pistons can be a tedious job. Might be a good idea to have the proper tools to make light work of the process. Thank you for watching our Strictly LTG Pro tip. As you can see, we are deep into the murky waters that is the 2.0 LTG. We're gonna be putting in the pistons here shortly. Make sure and stay tuned.